now I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome Dan into our family. Welcome, Dan. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> now, I know Dan is the right man for my daughter. Andrea and I think he's a marvellous father. Yeah. I'm happy for you both today, and you both make it a lovely couple. As your marriage begins, look around and soak it up, the moment that we are in. For well, this is where the magic starts, when you both say your vows. You pledge to spend your lives as one because of the love you feel now. In the presence of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, we've come together to witness the marriage of Daniel and Seth. I, Daniel, take you, Sarah, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to death was do part. I, Sarah, take you, Daniel, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to death is do part. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. I would like to say how proud Andrea and I are of Sarah today. How she's matured over the years into a fantastic mother and a daughter. I was particularly proud of the fact that last year she managed to pull off the almost impossible. By studying for her degree as well as bringing up two children, she worked hard, studied hard and she never gave in. And she accomplished this. She did so well and this has made us both very proud. I wish you guys all the happiness in the world. Uh, it's an honour to be able to stand here and speak at your wedding as well. It it's really is a privilege. I know you both really well now, obviously Dan Ward and Sarah, but uh, you're a perfect match to each other and I love you both to bits. Um, in fact, you're incredible parents as well. Every time I've come around your house, I can see how much you care and look after your kids. And like I say, I'm so proud of you both. Please be upstanding for your bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Ray. So the hardest part of writing this speech was that I wasn't able to ask Sarah for help. She's my best friend and I rely on her so much more than I would usually acknowledge or admit. You keep me sane, you keep me fed, watered, clothed. You support me when I'm struggling with the hard decisions. Even if I don't take your advice, you never back down or stop giving me that support. You're the person I look forward to seeing every time I come home from work, the person I want to cuddle up with in the evening, and the person I want to make coffee for in the morning. You're beautiful, kind, funny, and the most amazing person I know. I'm truly lucky to have married you. People say when you have kids that you lose friends. Personally, I'm glad it's been the complete opposite and my kids have gained amazing aunties and uncles. And finally, to my new husband, what can I say? You're my best friend and you have gone above and beyond for our family. Yeah. You work incredibly hard and sacrifice a lot to make sure your family are well looked after. Um, I look forward to every night you coming home. No matter how bad my day's been, within five minutes you have me laughing and forget why I was upset. And I couldn't have picked a more supportive man to marry. You have been an amazing boyfriend, daddy, fiance, and I know you'll carry on being an amazing husband.